Hello, guys. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, everything. Good evening. George, how are you? I'm fine. This well, is very what about your day? Very, very hard, but trying to. I'm feeling to good. Be positive, <laughs> to be positive. Yeah. positive. Okay, yes. Are you tired, George? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I, I guess, for example, how much, I mean, do you have to travel, for example? Do you, did you have to travel today? Yes, I traveled for the San Bartolo. Mm -hmm. And the San Bartolo traveled to Acajutla mm -hmm. uh, port. Mm -hmm. in the Cajutra port to the Santa Elena office. Yeah, you have to travel every day, but... Yes. Okay, but you are accustomed to that, right? Uh, may, I don't know. 50-50. Mm, <laughs> half and a half? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's great. Okay. So, hello, Vanessa, Jessica, and Jennifer. Good to see you girls. So we are about to start, and uh, I'm just going to give uh, some minutes for the others to enroll the class, okay? So in the meantime, guys, we are going to do a review. Vamos a hacer un repaso, guys, about the topic that we studied yesterday. Okay, so guys, what did we study yesterday? Jessica, tell me. ¿Qué estudiamos ayer, Jessica? What did we study? Jessica, hello. Okay, let's see. Vanessa, what about you, Vanessa? What did we study yesterday? Hello, hola, Vanessa. ¿Qué estudiamos ayer, Vanessa? Okay, let's see. And uh, what about you, Jennifer? What did we study yesterday? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, continues for your event. Yes, exactly right. We study the future using the present continuous. Okay, George, and how do we form the present continuous as a future? ¿Cómo formamos the, the present continuous or present progressive? How do we form it? Yes, George, hello. Mm -hmm. How do we form it, George? Your microphone, George. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no problem. I remember is the. I remember is the verb mm -hmm. to be. Yes, verb to be. A verb. Uh, in, in uh, maybe something. Yes, we add ing to the verb, right? Ing, ing, ing. Okay, thank you, hey, George. Okay, I'm gonna pass the attendance, guys. So uh, if you if you listen your name, please don't forget to say present. Okay, guys. Amilcar, hello, Amilcar. No. Let's see, Angela Alejandra. Angela Alejandra. No, okay. Carlos Ademir Bolaños. Carlos Ademir Bolaños. No. Daily Lisset. Daily Lisset. Daily. Present. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Daily. Let's see. Eloisa Beatriz. Eloisa Beatriz. Present. Okay. Thank you, Eloisa. Let's see. Hugo Alexander Castro. Hugo Alexander Castro. Okay, let's see. Uh, Hugo Ayala. Hugo Ayala, are you there? No? Okay, let's see. Jennifer Noemi. Jennifer Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. And Jessica Beverly. Jessica Beverly. Jessica Beverly, no? Okay, let's see. Jorge Edir Miranda. Yes, right? Yes, present. Okay, Jose Naum Palacios. Jose Naum Palacios. 
si me ayudan con los micrófonos, guys, because I listen to some of you that have your microphones on. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see, Jessica Beverly. Okay, Jessica, I got your information. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica Beverly. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Jose Naum Palacios. Jose Naum Palacios. No. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mabel Hernandez Mendez. Mabel Hernandez Mendez. Mabel Hernandez Mendez. Okay, let's see. Margot Hernandez Salinas. Margot Pres Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Margot. Maria Melina. Emelina. Melina, no, okay, let's see. Naum Hernandez Asensio, Naum Hernandez Asensio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Naum. Let's see, Nancy Guadalupe. Okay, Nancy. Okay, let's see, Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando, Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Okay, we have Silvana Beatriz, Silvana Beatriz. Silvana. Silvana, I guess she was here, Silvana. Me pareció ver a Silvana. No, she's not here. Okay, let's see. And uh, Vanessa Odeth, Vanessa Odeth, are you there, Vanessa? Vanessa? Okay, thank you, Vanessa. And uh, Walter Antonio, Walter Antonio. Walter, okay, no yet. Okay, let's see. Then we have uh, Jairo Vladimir. Jairo Vladimir. No, Linda Vanessa. Linda Vanessa. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you have, guys. Later on, I'm going to pass. Hello? Hi. Hello, hello. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I heard something, but it was my computer. Okay, let's continue, guys. And uh, I'm going to show you the presentation. Let's compartir la presentación de este día, guys. And uh, I'm going to share uh, this. Give me just a moment. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a game, guys, related to the verbs, right? Vamos a hacer un juego relacionado a los verbos. Lo que vamos a hacer, guys, es the following. Vamos, eh, ustedes van a elegir un número y de acuerdo a ese número, usted va a convertir ese verbo using ing. Por ejemplo, si tenemos el verbo have, si lo quiero hacer como yeron, ¿qué, qué pasaría? Having. Exactly. Sería having. Lo vamos a escribir en el, en el chat box para que ustedes puedan practicar los gerons, right? Okay. Okay, give me just a moment, guys. I'm going to share the screen. I guess I, I, I will see if I can share the screen, right? Okay. So can you see the, the screen, guys, as portion? Yes. Can you see this, the squares? Podemos ver los cuadrados, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Okay. I'm going to choose a, a person. Who wants to start? Guys? Who wants to start? Mm -hmm. Who wants to be the first one? Me. Okay, Jorge. Choose a number, please. Choose a number. Uh, number 11. Number 11. Let's see. We have the verb no. Do you know the meaning of the verb no? Um, knowing, knowing. Okay. Can you write it in the chat box, please? Give me the a jeron, moment. the jeron, right? The jeron form. Knowing, knowing. Maybe what knowing. is the meaning of no? No, no. 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 ¿Qué significa saber. no, guys? Saber. Saber. Yes. saber. Exactly, saber. To know something, right? Saber, that's right. Is, is, is this is correct? Let's see. No? Knowing, yes, knowing. Okay. okay, give me a sentence, Jorge. Give me a sentence using knowing. I knowing is right here, this. 
<laughs> okay, yes, knowing. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Choose the next person, please, George. Choose the next person. The next person, but then hey, Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer. I see you so happy. <laughs> she looks so happy today. <laughs> Okay, Jennifer, choose a number, please. Number five. Number five. Let's see the number. Have. Difficult one. <laughs> Hard one. Having. Yes, it is going to be having. Can you write it in the chat box, please, Jennifer? Okay. Okay. And uh, in the meantime, can you choose another, please, Jennifer? Choose another. Okay, Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Can you choose the next person? Yes, it's correct. Okay, who is the next person? Sil Silvana, teacher. Okay, Silvana, okay, Silvana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Silvana. Okay, choose a number, please. Mm, number 10. Number 10, let's see. Find. Como sería, how can we form the Jeron form? Find it. Find. Mm, using the ING. Using the ING. Yes, that's right. Okay, guys. Finding. Finding. Perfect, Silvana. Podemos escribir el verbo as a Jeron, guys, in the chat box, please. Todos, por favor, escribamos el verbo as a Jeron. ¿Qué significará find, guys? ¿Qué es find? What is that? Find. Encontrar. Encontrar. Muy bien. Encontrar. Encontrar. I'm finding or I'm looking, right, for someone. Okay, let's see the next person, Silvana. Who is going to be the next person? Okay, Silvana. Hello, Silvana. Silvana. Hola, hola, Silvana. Hello. Eloisa. Okay, Eloisa. Okay, thank you. Eloisa, are you there, Eloisa? Yes. Okay, choose a number, please, Eloisa. Number six. Number six, let's see. Say, say. Say. Okay, saying. ¿Y qué significa say, guys? What is the meaning of say? Decir. Decir. Decir, decir exactly. Decir, decir, right. Very good. Okay, Eloisa, the next person, please. Mm. Daily. Daily, okay. Daily, choose a number, please. Escojamos un número daily, please. Two. Number two. Try, okay, try. ¿Cómo sería si in gerund daily? How can we do that as a gerund? Try, try again. Trying, yes, that's right, daily. It is going to be trying. What is the meaning of try, guys? ¿Qué significa try? What is the meaning of try? Intentar. Intentar, yes, I'm trying to do something right now. Okay, okay, guys, let's continue. Very good, we are good with verbs, right? Okay, and that is part of the gerunds that we use when we talk about the future tense. Okay, let's try to, uh, to go over the topic, guys. But before, don't forget that today is going to be Carlos Ademir, okay? So Carlos Ademir is going to be here after the class. Okay, so let's continue. And this is going to be the topic, right? Este va a ser el tema. Simple present versus present continuous. Vamos a ver la diferencia entre el simple present y el present continuous. Okay, let's see. Um, Hugo. Oh, hello, Hugo. Okay, I'm going to select a picture y usted me va a crear una oración utilizando el presente continuo as a future. Okay, Hugo? Okay. Okay, so what is 
she doing for this weekend? What is she doing for this weekend? Uh, I am dry. She? She? Ah, perdón, excuse me. Uh -huh. She is driving in the weekend. Yes, she is driving for the next weekend. Okay, Hugo, please choose a person and you are going to do the same as I did. Okay, Hugo? Eh, aquí tengo a Eloisa. Ok, muy bien. Ok, entonces usted va a hacer la pregunta y Eloisa le va a responder. Ok, Hugo. Ok, espérame. Vamos a hacerlo con Excuse la primera, me. de Play Tennis, ok. Ok. Hmm. Eh, eh. What? What? Eloisa. Mm -hmm. What? What are you? What um, is? What is? She. The picture. She okay. is. What is she doing? What is she doing? What mm -hmm. is she doing? Mm -hmm. She is playing tennis. Okay. What is she or he? Right. She or he doing for next week. What is she doing for next week? Okay, yes, Eloisa, what is the answer? She is playing tennis. She is playing tennis for next week, okay? Thank you. Now you, Eloisa, choose a person and ask a question, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Jennifer. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jennifer, what is he doing for next week he is right riding a bike for the for the for next week mm -hmm. now you jennifer choose a person and you are going to ask a question george hello hello george Hello, Jenny. What, is, what is he doing for okay. the next? Tenemos oh. dos, Jennifer. We have two, okay? What is we? What mm -hmm. is our? What are? What are? What? Are, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. What are uh, we doing for? For or they. For next. In the week. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> what are they doing for next week? George, what are they doing for next week? Um, I was. Estamos hablando I, I, de ellos. We are uh, talking about they. Okay. She, he, no, they, what? They, they, watching? One more no. time. My man, my man is close this moment. Okay, let me see. Uh, they, they, they watching? No. Uh -huh. They, ¿qué les falta? They les are. Falta? They are. Oh, uh -huh. Sorry, they are watching a movie. For next week. For next week. Okay, very good, guys. Let's continue. That was just a review, right? So solo fue un review for you to practice. Okay. Okay. So guys, vamos a escuchar esta canción y ustedes van a completar la letra, right? The lyrics. I love this. So this is going to be a song and I'm going to share the song in the chat box for you to complete the words that are missing. Okay, guys? So can you go to the WhatsApp group, please? And... Uh, you're going to complete the words, okay? Okay. 
me just a moment. Okay, maybe you have listened this song before. Okay, let me know if you can see the song, guys. It is in the chat box, in the WhatsApp group. Please, can you check it? So I'm gonna mute myself for you to listen the song and complete the words, okay? Me indica si podemos ver la canción, guys, y la guía. Yes, why not? Let's go, guys. Let's go.
Okay, guys, time is over. So let's try to complete the lyrics. Okay, did you finish, guys? Hello, hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's try to complete it together. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna share the, the song and then you help me with the words, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, George, since you were the one who gave us the song, can you tell us the first word? I'm sitting here in a... Um, okay, I'm sitting here. For, mm -hmm. for me, is the the boring boring room yes it is that one i'm sitting here oh, in only a, the uh, e, a i boring mm -hmm. boring uh, room the boring it's room just another rainy sunday afternoon i'm wasting my time i got nothing to do to do yes exactly i'm hanging around and i'm waiting for you but nothing ever happens and i wonder and i wonder mm -hmm. Then I, I'm driving, driving. Ah, driving, you know the song, I, right? You are the, the I only one. Around and when my car uh -huh. driving too fast, I driving too far. Hey, it's a good. Yes, yes, continue, continue. No, 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 no. You're good. You're inspired no, today. <laughs> the, the, la vieja escuela. <laughs> yes, from all the school, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you, George. Okay, let's continue. You're welcome. Okay, I'm driving too far. I'd like to change my point of view. I feel so lonely and I'm... Mm -hmm, guys, who has that one? I'm... Waiting. Yes. I'm waiting, yes. I'm waiting for you, but nothing ever happens and I wonder. I wonder how, I wonder why yesterday you told me about that. the blue, blue. The blue, blue. I know you want, George. Right. I know you want to say, okay, but says it, right? <laughs> but the blue, blue sky, right? The sky. Okay. And disappear, disappear, disappear. Okay, disappear. you're going to disappear, okay. And all that I can see is just a yellow lemon tree. I'm turning my head up and... Down. Up and down, yes. I'm turning, turning around, and all that I can see is just another lemon tree. I'm sitting in here. I miss that. I miss that. What, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the one there, guys? I'm sitting here. Mm -hmm. I miss that. The what? What is missing there? I miss that. Power, right? Okay. There, there was a person and I, and I interrupted. I'd like to change. I'd like to go out taking a shower, but there is a heavy cloud inside my head. Head, yes, inside my head. I'm sleeping around in a desert of joy. Joy. Joy means alegría, guys, by the way. Baby, any, how I'll get another, another, guys. Mm -hmm. Another what? Another toy. Another toy, yes, right? It's going to be another toy. Okay, and then the song is, is easy, right? Okay, have you ever listened this song before? Raise your hand, guys. If you listened this song before, okay, Eloisa, Jorge, we are from old school. Are you from old school, Eloisa? Okay, Alejandra too, right? Yeah, you're welcome <laughs> yeah. to the jungle. Eloisa. Welcome to the jungle. Okay, Alejandra says the same, right? Okay, guys, if you can see, we have different uh, what tenses using present progressive and the simple present. Okay, ¿Quién me da una oración utilizando el presente progresivo, guys, in the song? ¿Cuáles son algunas oraciones donde vemos el present progressive or 
and continuous. And uh, I am driving around. Okay, tenemos the, we've the, heard the first one. I'm sitting, right? Yes. Okay. Another. Oh, you said, George, I'm hanging. I'm hanging. I'm, I'm hanging, hanging around. around. Another, I'm guys. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you. I'm driving too fast. 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 In my car, I'm driving too fast, right? Okay, another. I'm driving too fast. Okay, I'm waiting for, for you. you. Okay. But nothing ever happens. happens. Okay. And I wonder. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, right. It is, it is, it is. Okay. What about what about the simple present, guys? ¿Qué ejemplos tenemos del simple present, por ejemplo? Okay, what do we have for the simple present? Boring. Okay, we have. Mm -hmm. Como simple present. What do we have? It's just another. Okay, let's see. We have the it's. Okay, tenemos it's, right? Muy bien, tenemos it's. What else? Sunday afternoon. I got. I feel to... so lonely. Okay. Yes, I feel so lonely. Tenemos un simple present, right? I wonder. What about I wonder, guys? ¿Qué sería eso? Sería present continuous or simple present? Simple present. Exactly right. Simple present. Okay, guys. Vamos a ver entonces la diferencia entre simple present and present progressive. Let's go back to the presentation. So um, let's continue. Okay, let me ask you these questions. Okay, uh, can you write the, the answers in the chat box about the, the questions you have there? Podemos escribir la respuesta de estas preguntas in the chat box, guys, please. Okay, it says, it says, can you read the first question, Amilka? Puede leer la primera pregunta, Amilka, please? Okay. Who scheduled the events at your workplace? Mm -hmm. Continue. Todo. Yeah, please. Okay. What are some events that are talking talking place the next week? Okay. Okay. So in your case, Amilcar, who schedules the events at your workplace? Quien programa? Uh -huh. Who schedules? Events. Los demás, please, escribamos la respuesta, guys, in the chat box, please. Okay, Amilcar, tell me. Who is schedule? Mm -hmm. Who schedules the events at your workplace? Uh, teacher, esto era de una tarea anterior. No, 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 solo es una pregunta, eh, Amilcar, okay? Uh, Choose a, a person? No, no, no. I necesito, I need you to answer. Usted me responda, Amilcar. Eh, por ejemplo, en su trabajo, ¿quién es el que programa o agenda los eventos? Let's say. Uh, in, mm -hmm. in my workplace is my boss. Okay, it is your boss. Okay, and what are some of the events that he schedules or the ones that are taking place, place next week? What are some events? Uh, for example, the meeting with the department account. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, uh, check the check the home check the homework. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the tasks. Mm -hmm that uh, every day mm -hmm. and then I guess uh, to review uh, to review the action mm -hmm. um, cosas pendientes 
some pending things, for example, pending. Pending thing the the last one, the last one meeting. From the last meeting, okay. Last meeting. Okay, thank you, Amilcar. And uh, guys, the answer, ¿cuál sería la respuesta, guys, en su caso? Compartirla in the chat box, please, guys. Solo veo Jennifer's answer and Markov. The teachers in charge of each committee, right? Yes, right. They, for example, in the schools, right? There are some persons that are in charge of, of a group, right? Okay. Okay, Markov, what about you, Markov? What are some events that are going to take place next week? ¿Cuáles son algunos eventos? Markov. Preparar este presentaciones para algunas capacitaciones. Ok, ok, entonces vamos a decir. I'm preparing, right? I'm preparing some trainings, right? Some trainings. Okay. 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 Very good, Margot. Preparing some okay. trainings. Okay. Thank you, Margot. Okay. Then we, it says, okay, what about you, Hugo Alexander? What are some events that are going to take place next week? Mm -hmm. uh... I events uh, next week is a uh, our a meeting mm -hmm. uh, review mm -hmm. and check the reports. Okay, I'm checking the reports and checking to other staffs, right? Okay. También, guys, cuando por ejemplo queremos decir eh, podemos decir otras cosas, por ejemplo, cuando decimos otras cosas, cosas podemos decir other thing, otras cosas podemos decirlo como other things, y también algo que se escucha bastante, podemos decir también a uh, other, perdón, other staffs, staffs, otras cosas también se puede utilizar para decir otras cosas, son como sinónimos. Ok, let's go with this reading. Ok, let's see. Can you help me, Jose, please? You're going to be Peter and I'm going to be Henry. Ready, Jose? Ok, teacher. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So... Mm -hmm. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. I'm informing the committee about it. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice, guys, this conversation. Let's see. Can you help me? Okay, Mabel. Hello, Mabel. Mabel. Mabel, Mabel. Yes. Hello. No. Okay, let's see. Eh, Silvana. Hi, yes. Teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you, Mabel. Okay, Mabel, usted va a ser Peter. E Silvana is going to be Henry. Ready, ladies? Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is presentation present, presenting mm -hmm. the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. Uh, but Julie is attending the conference this year to so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? 
Yes, what? I am, I am present, presenting, with, presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, okay, repeat please. Committee, committee. Committee. Okay. Committee about it. Okay, la siguiente, the next one, guess. Can you repeat like this? Guess. Yes. Okay, guess. Guess what? Yes. Adivina yes. qué. Como que digamos, adivina qué. Guess what? Guess what? I am. Okay, no sé si hay alguna palabra, guys. Any new word? Any new word? Um, no. No, no, we are good with the words, right? Okay, entonces tenemos el uso del simple present versus present continuous. Okay, volunteers to read, guys. Volunteers, who wants to help me reading? Who says me? Uwayala, teacher. Uwayala, okay, let's go, Hugo. Simple present, please, the information. We use simple present for general information, routine activities. Uh, number one. I check my email every morning. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, he write report about meeting. Mm -hmm. Number three, she audit invent she audit inventors. Mm -hmm. Number four, they around meeting. Arrange. Arrange meeting. Meetings, okay. They arrange meetings, okay. Entonces, guys, el simple present lo vamos a utilizar único, únicamente cuando sea general information o para lo que hemos estudiado, verdad? Para rutinas, okay. Simple present, routines, and general information. Okay. Let me know if there is a doubt about the simple present. Hay alguna duda del simple present, guys? No? Okay. So what let's say uh, arrange this teacher. Okay, arrange. Arrange means like arreglar something. Yeah, maybe that. Arrange is eso, como arreglar o colocar las cosas en su lugar. Arrange something. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. So let's can I continue with the present continuous, guys. No questions about the simple present? Yes. Yes? Uh, yes. And, and, and... I need more information, but the use of the simple present versus present continuous. Okay, and yes. Other, other sample, other sample. Yeah, yes. sure, we're gonna have it, we're gonna have it, George, Thank don't you. worry, okay. So uh, what about the present continuous? Who wants to help me reading the present continuous, guys? Me, this is me. Okay, Amilcar, let's go, Amilcar. We use present continuous for ongoing action at the time of speaking. I am planning a video conference. They are getting the document ready. She is editing the information. The secretary uh, is making a phone call. Okay. Este es el otro lado, ¿verdad? Tenemos el presente continuo para, or para oraciones que estamos haciendo, por ejemplo, en este momento, que se están llevando a cabo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I'm planning a video conference. Estoy planeando una video conference. They, ellos están preparando, they are getting the, do the documents ready, están preparando los documentos. She is editing the information. Ella está editando la información. En español lo podemos traducir siempre que tengamos la mayoría de veces que tengamos ING, lo vamos a traducir como ando, endo. Por ejemplo, yo estoy estudiando, yo estoy durmiendo, yo estoy yendo, por ejemplo. Todas esas traducciones le podemos decir al ING, ando, endo. ¿Ok? Questions, guys? Por ejemplo, si yo les pregunto, digamos, en español, eh, let's see, veamos, Hugo, ¿qué está haciendo, Hugo? ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento? 
¿Qué está haciendo? Recibiendo la clase de inglés. Estoy recibiendo la clase de inglés. Entonces, en ese caso, guys, ¿sería el presente continuo o sería el simple present? Presente continuo, dicho. Exacto. Todo lo que estemos haciendo en este momento, vamos a utilizarlo en el presente continuo. El presente continuo, recordemos, tiene dos funciones. Para actividades que estamos realizando en este momento y para hablar del futuro. ¿Ok? Esas son las dos funciones del present continuous. No sé si hay dudas, guys. Questions. Questions, guys. Ongoing. What is for ongoing, teacher? Ongoing means like something that has a last a during a period of time. Right? Like uh, como que no, no termina. Usted está en continuo haciendo esa actividad. Ongoing activities. Okay. Okay, no questions, guys? No? No. Okay, so let's continue. Here I have more information as the, as the one that George asked us before. Okay, who wants to help me reading this information, guys? Who says me? Mm -hmm. Who says me, guys? Who says me, volunteers? Me. Me. Eloisa. Eloisa. Okay, let's go, Eloisa. Mm -hmm. Present simple tense, please. For facts or... Or things. Perdón. Mm -hmm. For facts or things that are always true or general, general true. Whales. Whales, whales live in the ocean. Perdón, whales live, live or, or, or live. Live. live, live, live in the ocean. A dog has four legs. Mm -hmm. It rains a lot in winter. Mm -hmm. Water boils at no sé cómo. 100 Celsius. Ok, at 100 Celsius. Ok, very good. Ok, tenemos preguntas, guys, acerca del uso del simple present. Lo podemos utilizar también para eh, things that are always true. For example, cats have four legs. Eh, rabbits have big ears, right? Entonces son para cosas que todos sabemos, ¿verdad? Que son true. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, guys. Questions? No? Ok, let's continue. Can you help me, volunteers? Do I have volunteers today? Me, Jenny. Ok, Jennifer, let's continue, Jennifer. Present simple things for regular habits of repeated, repeated, repeated actions. I brush my teeth three times a day. Mm -hmm. I read in bed every night. She goes to the gym after work. Mm -hmm. She walks, walk? walks, walks to school every day. Ok, thank you Jennifer. Entonces, este es lo que estudiamos anteriormente, ¿verdad? Para actividades que hacemos diariamente o habits or repeated actions, okay? That is going to be the present simple. Okay, what about the continuous? Continuous, Oscar, can you help me please, Oscar? Present continue tenses. Mm -hmm. For an action happening, note at the moment of speaking. speaking. Mm -hmm. I am teaching an English lesson. Mm -hmm. You are watching a video. Steven is washing his hair. She is taking her dog for a walk. A walk, okay? A walk. No, walk, Oscar, walk. Walk, okay. Como China walk. Yes, ahí lo tiene, China walk. Ese es su referencia, walk. walk. 
Okay. Entonces, en este caso, para actividades que estamos haciendo en este momento, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I am teaching an English lesson. You are watching this presentation. Steven is washing his hair. Entonces, esos son los usos, guys. No sé si tengamos alguna duda. Questions? No questions? Are no, we good? Sure. Okay. Ask, guys. It doesn't matter if it is a question that maybe you say, no, I should not uh, ask teacher. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you show, show no, us, show us the other example for the present simply in the continuous. Okay, uh, you want oh. the previous others, slide? Others, others, others. Do you want the previous slide? No, in the real, real life. <laughs> in the real life, in the present simply, but the, she, I, sorry. In the slides, this they say a dog has four legs. But mm -hmm. other example? Oh, for example, the volcanoes are big. Let's say it always rains on May, for example. Algo que todos sabemos que es es una verdad, verdad, verdad. <laughs> okay. okay, let's see. For example, in May we have always rains, right? In May. Yeah. Tenemos las lluvias. Es algo, that is something that most of us know, right? That is a general truth. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Any other guys? Any other question? Okay. That's good, guys. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. También es importante conocer, por ejemplo, algunas expresiones que vamos a utilizar con el simple present y con el presente continuo. Entre el simple present, ya les estudiamos estas, tenemos los frequency adverbs, que son always, often, generally, sometimes, never. También estudiamos once a week, twice a week, three times a month. Tenemos in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. Siempre y cuando veamos estas expresiones, guys, vamos a estar hablando del simple present. Y siempre, guys, siempre, siempre que tengamos, por ejemplo, now, right now, at the moment, y still, vamos a estar hablando del presente continuo. Por ejemplo, right now, right now, right now, I am teaching English. Utilicemos still, por ejemplo. I am still working. Do not bother me. Aún estoy trabajando. No me molestes. Okay, entonces, siempre que veamos still at the moment, now, and right now, vamos a tener el present continuous. Okay, questions? This es como la key, ¿verdad? Esa es la key. La clave, the key. Perdón, key. Okay, questions, guys, about that? No questions? Okay, let's continue. And now we are going to practice. Okay, you are going to read a text and you are going to identify if we are talking about a daily or usual habit or if it is happening right now. Vamos a, a leer un texto, guys, donde ustedes van a identificar si estamos hablando de una daily routine o si estamos hablando de algo que está pasando en este momento. Okay? Okay, entonces vámonos al texto. Y ustedes van a completar esa sección. There you have the text. Take a screenshot and then you can read it, guys. Okay, for that, I'm going to give you 10 minutes, right? Ustedes me van a identificar si estamos hablando de daily routine o an activity que estamos haciendo en este momento. Okay, can you take, let's do something. Se lo voy a compartir por WhatsApp. 
y ustedes lo pueden trabajar en your computers. Questions? Questions, guys? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes tell me, please. Eh, en, bueno, en español, creo. Uh -huh. Este, hay que marcar las que están en presente continuo y las que son simple present. Sí, en el caso del simple present son como las daily routines. Oh, okay. Y en el caso de las acciones que estemos realizando en este momento sería el presente continuo. Lo podemos hacer con dos colores, with different colors, right? Ok, perfecto. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, no more questions, guys. No more questions. No. Ok, um, let's see. Veamos. Ok, Alejandra, got it. Ok, got it, Alejandra, thank you. Ok, let's see. No questions. Ok, entonces, let's work, guys. Comparto uh, the picture in the WhatsApp group, ok? Y el rojo, aquí lo de que anoche en la en la mesa.
teacher. Tell me, George. I share my answer in the WhatsApp. Okay, did you finish? Yes, I tried. It's very good or no? Okay, so let's do it together. Okay, let's go. Problem. Let's see. Okay, here you have. Okay. So, George, can you read the first line, please, and tell me? George? Sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, tell me, George. And the first, if seven ferry, I am. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Wilson are in the there the kitchen mm -hmm. is present continuous. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wilson is sitting sitting. I don't say sitting sitting mm -hmm. uh, sitting mm -hmm. at the at the breakfast table for mm -hmm. me is simple present. Okay. Simple present. Cuando decimos simple present, estamos hablando de las daily routines, right? Daily routines, right. Okay. Okay, guys, what do you think? Is that a daily routine? It's right now. Or is that doing right now? Right now. Right now, exactly, Eloisa. Okay. ¿Por qué? Primero, lo que nos está diciendo es que tenemos el ING, right? Y siempre que tengamos el ING, Estamos hablando de actividades que estamos haciendo en este momento. Entonces, vamos a decir que son actividades de right now. En ese caso sería present continuous. Ok. Present continuous. There you have. Ok. Let's go with number two. Oscar, number two. She is reading a new paper. Mm -hmm. What is that? Is that a daily routine or an activity that is doing era right now? Era identificar, perdón. Era identificar si era simple presente o presente progresivo. Tenemos Man. que identificar si era una daily routine o si es una actividad que se está realizando en este momento. Is daily routine, teacher. Okay, daily routine. Okay. Yes, reading ING teacher. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Okay, guys. Usually, Entonces, guys, es un present continuous. Es un present continuous, right? Pero cuando hablamos de rutinas, utilizamos el simple present. Okay. Entonces, en este caso, yes, it is the present continuous. Present, present continuous. Okay, guys, present continuous. ¿Qué me está diciendo que es un present continuous o una actividad que estamos realizando en este momento? The ING. ING. También el verbo to be. Really? Uh -huh. Ella está ING. yendo. Está en este momento haciendo la actividad. Ok. What about number three? Can you help me? Let's see. Silvana, number three, please. Silvana. Ok, teacher. Number three is a. Uh, she read. The newspaper every morning uh -huh. is a daily routine. Ok, very good. Tenemos entonces que es una daily routine. ¿Y qué me está diciendo que es una daily routine? ¿Qué me está diciendo, guys? Hay una clave para saber don't, si es... Present continuous. Don't use, don't use ING, teacher. Exactly. The bear is the simple. Yes. The simple for. Exactly. And even, guys, even something important we have every morning, right? Every morning es una expresión que utilizamos 
para hablar de rutinas, en este caso sería Simple Present. Ella lee el periódico todas las mañanas o cada mañana. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, perfect. Let's continue with the next one. Me ayuda. Can you help me, please? Vanessa. Ok. Ok, let's give a chance to Vanessa and then you continue, Milka, ok? Yes. Ok, let's continue, Vanessa, please. Ok. Mr. Wilson is pouring a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. So, ¿qué sería Esa... eso? Preparando. Preparando. Prepare. Is pouring. Está verter, right? Virtiendo, right? Or... I know how to say it in Spanish. Sirviéndose. Sirviendo, say, a cup of coffee. Entonces, ¿qué sería, guys? Sería una actividad que se está realizando en este momento. Present continuous or simple present. Present continuous. Present continuous. There you have present continuous. Okay, let's go, Amilcar. Number five, please. Number five. He drinks two cups to coffee every morning mm -hmm. before he goes to work. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. simple present, teacher. Yes, simple present. Very good. Okay, there you have simple present, una actividad. De rutina, ¿verdad? He drinks two cups of coffee every morning. También encontramos la expresión, por ejemplo, every morning, que se utiliza con, el, con las rutinas. Okay. Él toma dos tazas de café en las mañanas, todas las mañanas. What about number six? ¿Cuál sería number six, guys? ¿Sería una daily routine o sería algo que está haciendo en este momento? Goes. What is that? Simple present. Yes. Daily routine. It's a simple present daily routine. What about number seven? But the children are not watching. What is that, guys? Mm -hmm. It's a present continuous. It's a present continuous example. Algo que se está haciendo en este momento, que no están haciendo, perdón. Porque los niños no están viendo TV, right? They are playing. ¿Qué sería de they are playing, guys? Ellos están jugando. Present continuous. Present continuous. Yes, there you have. They usually watch cartoons. Simple person. Exacto. Es, es algo que ellos... Probablemente hacen, ¿verdad? Y tenemos la expresión, la expresión usually. 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 Que lo utilizamos con los simple present or daily routine. But this morning they aren't paying any attention to the TV. What is present that? Continuous. Present continuous. There you have present continuous. This morning they aren't paying any attention. Mrs. Wilson aren't watching TV. What is that, guys? Present continuous. Continue. Present continuous, yes. Then we have, they often watch the news in the evening, but they don't watch cartoons. Simple present. Simple present. ¿Qué me está indicando? ¿Qué es simple present? No. Daily routines. Exactly. We have a daily routine y también tenemos los often. often, right? We have the adverse of frequency. Okay, there you have, guys. Questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay, now we're going to work in pairs. And now, yes, we are work in the breakout rooms, okay? Okay, may I erase that, guys? ¿Puedo borrar eso? May I erase that? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 
Ok, these are going to be the exercise, guys. Ahora acá ustedes van a identificar si es simple present y de acuerdo a eso, ustedes van a conjugar. You are going to conjugate the verb. Ok, let's do the first one. Hagamos la primera. Ted, tenemos el verbo take a shower right now. ¿Cómo vamos a conjugar? How are we going to conjugate that, guys? Taking, taking for right now. Okay. Taking. Okay, veamos. Right Ted, taking. Taking? ¿Solo taking, guys? No, is. Is taking. Is taking. Okay, ¿qué me está indicando? Que debo utilizar el ING for? ¿Qué me está indicando, guys? Que lo está haciendo en ese momento. Pero, ¿cuál es la palabra, guys? ¿Cuál es la palabra? What is the word that it is telling me? Que right, tiene, now. right now. Right now. Exacto. Right now. Ok, pongamos atención a esas palabras, guys, que nos van a dar la, el tense que vamos a utilizar. Ok, let's go. Ok, let's go. Let's, uh, we are in 18. So let's see. Let's go, guys. I'm sorry. Let's comparto la imagen in the WhatsApp group. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Amilcar, Oscar, Mabel. Amilcar. Come on, teacher. Okay, estamos en los breakout rooms, Amilcar. Uh, no, teacher, ahorita me salí para ir al WhatsApp. Va, está bien. Okay, hola, hola, Amilcar. Amilcar, hello. Hello, Amilcar. Okay. Mabel Hernández, Mabel Hernández, hola Mabel, Alejandra, bien, entiendo que Alejandra va ocupada, entonces, Mabel, ¿cómo vamos Mabel? Mabel, Mabel. Ok, let's continue, si podemos trabajar, ladies, ok. If you have any question, don't doubt in calling me, ok, Mabel y Alejandra.
No. Ahorita mismo le preguntamos a la teacher. Escuché, escuché que me llamaron por ahí mentalmente. Escuché el gran cortocircuito que estamos echando aquí. Con el número dos. Number eh, two. Ok, let me see. Two. Two. What, what do we have? Mm -hmm. What do we have? What for dinner tonight. Tenemos for dinner tonight. Es una expresión de, por ejemplo, para la, la, la noche. Para la cena de esta noche, ¿no? Ajá. Entonces, no sé si, si, si vamos a utilizar el ING, o sea, esta noche, ¿no? O sea, pero no se está haciendo ahorita, sino que... Ajá. Uh, entonces, are we no sé si lo dejamos. Are we? Ok. What do you ¿Sí? think, ladies? What do you think? What are... Ok, sería do o sería are. ¿Qué nos indica, ladies? Tonight, esta noche. Entonces, what are having? What are, what are we having? Having, yes. What are we having? What are we having? Mm -hmm. For dinner tonight. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta, ladies? No, justamente ahí estábamos trabadas. Estábamos en el batch. Okay, okay, no problem. Let's continue. Tell me, tell me if you have questions. Don't doubt in calling me, okay? Okay. Thank okay, you, let's, you're welcome. Vamos, my brother has. Nada de tiempos. Uh -huh. Bye. Entonces le, le dejamos has. Has. La, luego la siguiente. Has. Solve. Uh -huh. ah, ahí. Ah. No. I am not... My problem is the moment. Sería como la misma vez. Ajá, uh -huh. I am not solved some math problems at the moment. No. <laughs> okay. At the moment. At the moment, me está diciendo el momento. Ah, Good. yes, yes, right. Uh -huh. So, mm. I am Entonces, not... Entonces, sí sería... Pues I am not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am not solving. Uh -huh. I am not solving some math. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect, guys. That's the way. No, I am not solving. Uh -huh. I am not solving. Okay. Good job. Uy, qué rápido, no está sacando. 
Hello, hello, Silvana and Hugo. Questions? How is everything going? Eh, pues ahorita y vamos <laughs> resolviendo. Okay, let's see. Let's. Uh, can you share with me your answers, please, guys? Eh, la, <laughs> bueno, Silvana <clears throat> tenía o tiene dudas mm -hmm. en mm -hmm. la número dos. Number two. Okay, let's go. La number número two. dos es una pregunta. Entonces, y es una, digamos, es simple present. Ok. Entonces, es una pregunta. Mm, muy bien. Hemos formulado, what are we have eh, for, for Daniel night? Entonces, la pregunta de ella era, ¿por qué poníamos después del what are? What we are we having? Have. having. Bien. <coughs> Ahorita, ahorita no. Have le hemos puesto, no le hemos puesto Javi. Siempre que tengamos el verbo to be, el verbo va a ir con ing. Eso es lo que, o sea, lo que tenía mi duda. Si, por ejemplo, el verbo en ese caso se convertía en ing. Sí. Porque según yo había leído uh -huh. que, por ejemplo, cuando estaba haciendo una acción y que se estaba realizando, no en el momento, pero sí iba a suceder, entonces era con ing. Con ing, sí. Porque porque está asegurando que, que va a pasar. Exacto. Y también que tenemos la expresión for the dinner tonight, ¿verdad? Entonces eso nos está indicando mm -hmm. una acción que va a pasar como más tarde. Entonces sería, what are we having for dinner tonight? Siempre que tengamos el verbo to be, guys, siempre el verbo que le sigue lo vamos a utilizar con ing. Es igual que la número cuatro. Es, I, uh, sería, I don't solve some math problems at the moment. Ok, can you repeat, please, Silvana? Sería, I, porque, o sea, está en negativo. Entonces, uh -huh. no sé si es así. Está que uh -huh. me da error. Es, I don't uh -huh. solve some math problems at the moment. Uh -huh. O sería, I don't solve. No, ninguna de las dos. Okay. La primera me dijo, I don't solving. I don't mm -hmm. solving. Ok, eso, mm, it doesn't exist, no existe, okay. Silvana. Okay. ok, entonces, para decir que no lo estoy, vamos a decir el verbo to be, ¿verdad? I am not solving. ¿Y qué me okay. está diciendo que debo utilizar el ing? Si leemos toda la oración, dice... Son el más momento. Probables. Exacto, ahí está. Entonces, lo que nos va a indicar qué tiempo vamos a utilizar son esas expresiones. Ok. Ok, perfect, guys. Let's continue. Gracias. You're welcome. Thanks. But today... Questions? I'm working. Uh -huh. No questions? Mm. Teacher. Uh -huh. La 4, 5, 6, 7. La 7, creo. La 7 quedaría What time you wake, wake, wake up on weekday? Number 7. What time? Uh -huh. What you time? Wake. Do you, you wake, uh -huh. do you wake up on weekends? Okay. Do you wake, do you uh -huh. wake uh -huh. up on weekends? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay, you're welcome. Alguna otra duda? Any other doubt, guys? No. 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 Okay, let's continue. Okay, can you share with me your answers? For example, number two. What, what did you write in number two? Teacher, no finish. No finish, number two? No, no finish at all. Okay, some of them you have. What? Algunas tenemos, algunas tenemos. Yes. yes. Okay. Number two is what? Happy. Mm Happy. -hmm. What? Uh -huh, guys. Well, having for dinner oh, tonight. Okay, vamos a detenernos ahí. Okay, vamos a, le, voy a compartir la pizarra, ¿ok? 
Ok. Ok. Bien. Tenemos, si me pueden, eh, what. Tenemos el espacio, ¿verdad? What. Tenemos el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Have. Have. Muy bien. Have. ¿Qué más dice? What For else? For dinner. For dinner. Tonight. Tonight. Muy bien. Vamos a utilizar el simple present o el present continuous, guys. Present continuous. ¿Qué me está indicando el present continuous? ¿Qué me indican que voy a utilizar el present continuous? Tonight. Tonight exactly. is a future. Exactly. There you have. Entonces, una vez que ya tengamos es el, el tense, entonces vamos a utilizar el present progressive, right? Para hacer una pregunta, what, what are we, we, el verbo, ¿verdad? Vamos a utilizar el, 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 el verb, what are we having, having. Yes, for dinner tonight? Uh -huh. That is going to be the way. No nos olvidemos del verbo to be. It's a, it is essential, guys. It's something that must not be missing in a sentence. Okay? No nos olvidemos del verbo to be. Si no agregamos el verbo to be, el resto de la oración está incorrecta. Ok. Ok. Ok, let's continue, please. Hello, Alejandra. ¿Cómo vamos, Alejandra? Hello, teacher. Ahorita llegando a mi casa. Ah, está bien. No sé si alcancé a escuchar la tarea que estamos haciendo. No, no alcancé. Es que venía entrando ahorita. Estamos Bye. hablando mis cosas. Va, está bien. Este, me, me indica cuando haya terminado y las tres las tenemos en el, en el chat box de WhatsApp. ¿Ok, Alejandra? Sí, vos dígame ahorita y me meto. Bye. Bye, está bien, ahorita. Bien, en las de WhatsApp estamos eh, haciendo esta, esta sección. Sí. Lo que vamos a hacer es, por ejemplo, conjugar el verbo, el verbo que tenemos en paréntesis. Por ejemplo, mm. take, take. Lo voy a utilizar con el present simple o el presente continuo. O sea, sería taking, no. Exacto. Sí. Ted is okay. taking, taking a shower right now. now. Entonces, lo que tenemos que hacer es identificar como esas expresiones que nos indican que estamos haciendo algo en este momento o algo que sea rutinario. De esa forma vamos a... Ah, ok. Verbo. ¿Ve, Alejandra? Okay. Okay. Sí. Okay. Si quieres la puedo mandar con unos compañeros para que pueda trabajar. Eh, vaya, o lo puedo hacer yo sola, no. Ah, perfecto, perfecto, no problem. Okay, let's continue. Vaya, apoy, te lo voy a hacer. Okay, perfecto, okay. Alejandra. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay. Naum, the same problem, Naum. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Did you, but did you finish, right? Yes, but I, Hugo, I was working with with Hugo. Okay. Ah, uh, did you finish, boys, or not yet? In my case, I finished. The, okay. In your activity. And Hugo, what about Hugo, Hugo Ayala? Mm -hmm. Did he? But, but I was. I was doing the activity when I, I had the same problem. Okay, with my so internet. I'm going to send you again, no problem, okay? Okay, thank you.
three questions, Alejandra. Eh, no, teacher, ahorita estoy completándolo. Va, está bien. Ok, Alejandra, let's Gracias. continue. Thanks. She is studying. studying. She is studying. She is studying. Vamos con el once, va. Tenemos dudas con la siete y la ocho. Okay, hello. Okay, seven and Let's see. Por, ejemplo, what, por ejemplo, what time do you, porque yo ya, ya estoy confundida con el uso de, eh, por ejemplo, cuando es daily routines o simple present, uh -huh. digamos, voy a escribir, my brother have a daughter in a song. My brother have or has, Jennifer. Oh, has. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero sigue siendo ese simple present. Ese simple ¿verdad? present. Porque okay. si usted escribe, por ejemplo, my brother is having a daughter in a song. Es como que okay. en este momento él está como having a baby, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, okay. Eh, en la siguiente, eh, en, bueno, me va a pasar a las 7 y las 8 porque son uh -huh. las que más dudas. Tengo dudas en los demás, pero... Uh -huh. What time? <laughs> What time uh -huh. do you wake up? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you wake up uh -huh. on weekends? Yes. Weekdays. Y en oh, weekdays. la siguiente sería what do, siempre el do. Tenemos tomorrow night. Ajá. Tomorrow. No sé, what do you doing? Pero uh -huh. no sé si ocupa el do, o sea, no sé si vamos a ocupar el do después de what. <ríe> Vaya. Es que tenemos que ver las expresiones, eh, Jennifer y Daily. En este caso tenemos tomorrow night. Estamos hablando del Mañana futuro. De futuro. Uh -huh. Entonces, estamos hablando del futuro que vamos a utilizar. Presente continuo. Presente continuo. What are you doing tomorrow ah, night? What are, uh -huh. ¿Qué estarán haciendo? ¿O qué vas a hacer también? Ah, ok. What are what you doing tomorrow? Are... Es orden, tengo este cuaderno. <risa> Pero no la tenemos. ¿Qué no si la tenemos? Yo no. Yo no la tengo. Yo sí, si, when, when no you doy. Doing... Ah, yo sí le puse doy tomorrow night. Uh -huh. Exacto. Doing. What are you doing tomorrow night? Vamos a ver. No, no, no. Ah, eh, también en la, en la number four. I, number four. I, am, I am not solving uh -huh. so much problems at the moment. Okay, lo, que at the moment. Es lo, que, lo que nos va a indicar que si es presente continuo o es simple present es ca cada expresión que nos indique en este momento. Uh -huh. o, uh -huh. Pero también lo que me confundía era en el caso de... Eh, Tomorrow night. Uh -huh. En este momento, pero sí, es como lo está planeando. Es lo Exacto. que hablábamos ayer, ¿no? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué estará haciendo? Exacto. There you have. Ok, ladies, let's continue. Let's continue. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hello guys, how is Hello. everything going? Hello. Everything good? Everything. 
Questions? No questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. No okay. questions. Let's share with me your answers, guys. Let's go with number three. What do you have? What do you have? Number three. My mm -hmm. brother mm -hmm. is has a daughter and a son. Okay, vamos a detenernos. I'm going to make stop there. I'm going to stop you there, guys. Okay, can you repeat, please? My brother, my brother, mm -hmm. is, is mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. a, daughter a daughter or a daughter, mm -hmm. daughter, daughter, and a son, daughter, daughter, and a son. A son. Okay. Okay. First of all, first of all, guys, no podemos tener dos verbos, a menos que sea este, algún Ay, auxiliar. Oh, sí. Entonces, ¿cuál es el error, amiga? Tell me, what is the mistake? Is and has. Mm, uno es el correcto. Ver. No, no, correcto. To bear. Okay, there we have two verbs, pero ¿cuál, ¿cuál es el error? What is the mistake? My brother has. Tendría que quedar. Exactly. Perfect. My brother has a daughter and a son. Thanks. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue with the next one, please. Help me. The next one. Number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I am not solving some math problems at the moment. Okay, I am not. Perdón, I am not. Solving. Solving some math, some math problem at the moment. At the moment. ¿Qué nos está indicando que es el present continuous, guys? What is telling At the that? moment. At the moment. There you go. Okay, very good. La siguiente, please. The next one. Nos equivocamos en la ocho, chicas. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. My grandfather. My grandfather. Often. Mm -hmm. He's come over for dinner at the weekend. My grandfather. Often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otra vez lo volví a cometer. Teacher again. He's come. He's come. Sorry. Okay. Go. Often come. Okay. Pero todavía le hace falta algo, amiga. Something is missing yeah. y very important. Coming. No. Coming. Come. No, no, no. Come over. No. No, no, My no. Grandfather. My grandfather comes. Yes. There you have. Ahí está. There you have comes it's over. A daily routine, verdad, teacher? It's a daily routine. Tenemos often, verdad? Or tenemos often a frequency adverb. Siempre, guys, siempre cuando hablamos de he, she, it, recordemos pronunciar el sonido de la S. Comes. Comes. Si no lo mencionamos, si no lo pronunciamos, guys, vamos a una entrevista de trabajo desde ahí. Ok, thank you so much, but we are not interested. Porque esos son errores bien basic así que take care with that ok guys yes. ok perfect let's continue guys let's continue ok Alejandra ¿cómo vamos Alejandra? Question. hola teacher tengo duda es que no sé cómo cómo hacer la la 2 la 7 y la 8 veamos la 2 la 16. 7, 8. Ajá. 7, 7. Dice, what time? ¿Qué, ¿Qué escribió usted? What did you write? What time? En la, en la, ¿en cuál? ¿En la 7? ¿O, ¿O cuál? ¿En cuál es? Ah, la 7. ¿Cuál es la que tiene? Ah, sí. Sí, en la, en la 2, la 7, la 8 y uh -huh. la 16. Vaya, en este caso, eh, tenemos for dinner tonight. Esta es una expresión a futuro, for dinner tonight. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a uh -huh. hacer aquí? 
Ah, o sea que, what happening? Are we having? Uh, what are we uh, having for dinner uh, tonight? Uh, having. Mm -hmm. uh, having, yes. Agregándole ING también. ING, el verbo, having. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. y, ah, vaya, entonces ya puedo hacer las otras. Y le doy 16. Number 16, Miss Clara. Ok. ¿Qué? No, 16. 16, ok. Usually, tenemos usually. Be usually, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y tenemos el verbo. Sí. ¿Cómo lo vamos uh -huh. a conjugar? Mm, que no sé. <risa> ok, si tenemos usually, usually lo utilizamos con adverse o frequency, ¿verdad? En el simple uh -huh. present. Entonces, uh -huh. ¿cómo se quedaría esa? It. Mm, it. It be usually no vea. Uh -huh. It, usualmente está humid. Ah, o sea que es it usually. It is usually so ah, humid. It is. It is. Es cierto. Only that in summertime. Uh -huh. It is usually. El día no. No, no, ese es solo que nos indica la, que ese verbo vamos a utilizar. Ah, ok. Ok. Ah, pues eso era. Ok, estamos bien entonces. Uh -huh. Ok, let's continue, Alejandra, okay. let's continue. Ok. Ok, guys. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yes? Finish. Okay, let's do, let's do this together. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna give you the... Hello? Yes, hello, hello. Okay, number one. Podemos escribir in the chat box, please? Amilcar, number two, please. Amilcar, number two. Let's see, Alejandra, number three. Alejandra, number three. Alejandra, Linda, number four, please, in the chat box. Jorge, number five. In the chat box, please, Jorge. Eloisa, uy, perdón, Jorge. Five, five. Jorge. Eloisa, number six. Uh, let's see. Silvana, number seven. Daily, number eight, please. Daily, Jennifer, number nine. Oscar Armando, number ten, please. Uh, Linda, oh, no, Linda, it's Don, Margot, 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 number 11, 12, Vanessa, please, 13, let's see, Beverly, Beverly, let's see, uh, the next one, Beverly, Mabel, Mabel, 14, Mabel, 14, Jose Palacios, 15. No nos olvidemos de escribir el número, guys, please. Jose Palacios. Okay, teacher. And uh, Hugo Alexander, 15, please. Hugo Alexander, and the last one, it's going to be for Naum, okay? Naum, 16. 
Okay. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Okay. It says, Amilcar, number what? Two, mm -hmm. Amilcar, teacher. It's number what? two, Amilcar. Okay. What are we having for dinner? Excellent, Amilcar. George, my grandfather, often comes over for dinner at the weekends. Perfect, Jorge. Very good. Okay, my school. Okay, Eloisa, my school. In this case, sería my school begins, right? Y me dijo a mí una teacher. Sí. Oscar. Sí. Juan, por... Número 10, number 10, Oscar. Number 10, please. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Eloisa. Eh, in the list. Sort of my school. Mm -hmm. Begins. Begin. Ah, begins. Yes, begins. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Y lo que es resta de oración, ¿verdad? Ok. My school begins. What time do you wake up on weekends? Perfect, Silvana. She works as a secretary in a big company. Perfect, Mabel. Ok, daily sería what are you, ¿verdad? No nos olvidemos el verbo to be daily. What are you doing tomorrow night? My brother is having a daughter and a son. Miss Clara takes a violin classes. Very good, Jose Palacios. I usually, ok, I don't usually work, right, no, Jennifer? I don't usually work. Okay, I don't usually work. Ok, Jennifer, number nine. Okay, let's see, my brother, ok, en ese caso, Alejandra, sería my brother has, porque si decimos is having, es como que he is pregnant, que él está eh, pregnant, right, like with a baby. Entonces, sería my brother has, right? My brother has a daughter. Ok, number three. Ok, guys, solo paso la asistencia y no nos olvidemos de completar los, los exámenes, right? Los quizzes que tenemos eh, todos los días, ¿verdad? El día de ayer, no sé si lo completamos, guys, si no lo podemos hacer en estos dos minutos, mientras paso la asistencia. ¿Cuál ¿Qué es tarea los... sería, teacher? Sería la 11 y la 12. 11 y 12. Ok. 11. 11 and 12, ok? Mientras completamos, paso yo la asistencia, ok, guys? Ok, let's see. Amilcar? Yes, right? Ángela? No? Present. Yes, ok. Thank you, Ang eh, Alejandra. Eh, Carlos Ademir? Carlos Ademir? Carlos Ademir? No? Let's see. Hugo Alexander Castro? Hugo Alexander Castro? Present. Teacher. Ok, let's see. Hugo Ernesto Ayala. Hugo Ernesto Ayala. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Jessica Beverly. Jessica Beverly. Hi, teacher. Ok, thank you. And uh, let's see. José Naum Palacios. José Naum Palacios. No, teacher. Ok, thank you. Mabel Hernández. Mabel Hernández. Present Mabel. teacher. Ok, thank you. Then we have Maria Emelina. Maria Emelina? No. Maria Emelina? No. Uh, Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay, Present. Thank you. Uh, Silvana Beatriz. Silvana? Present, teacher. Thank you. Vanessa Odeth. Vanessa Odeth. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Then we have Walter Antonio. No. Jairo, Jairo Vladimir, no, and Linda, yes. Present. Okay, thank you, Linda. Okay, guys, let's just finish the quiz. Hola, hola. No yes. me mencionó, teacher. No, no mencioné a los que ya, ya estaban temprano, ¿verdad? Ahí okay. ya, uh -huh. ya tienen your, your sure. attendance. Yes, dígame. Eh, en la tarea 12, bueno, le atiné por, por lo que ya hemos estado viendo, uh -huh. pero... Por ejemplo, una pregunta. Uh -huh. I like driving to work. Uh -huh. 
Entonces, I like driving. Me gusta conduciendo al trabajo. Así, a, así la entiendo. No. Eso, vaya, por ejemplo, el verbo like. Está en, en la forma simple. Sí, like. Pero puede tomar dos, dos, dos formas, digamos. I like to work. O podemos decir, I like. A working. Las dos formas significan lo mismo. Me gusta trabajar. Pero en este caso, ah, ok. Me uh -huh. gusta conducir al trabajo, sería entonces. Sí, ese sería. That's the one. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Va a tener ese significado de ando, endo, cuando lo tratamos con el verbo to be. Exactly, exactly. Eso fue I lo que pensé. Working. Estoy trabajando, ando, en. Ok, guys, no les quiero quitar mucho tiempo, entonces vamos a terminar. We are going to finish right now and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to complete the quizzes and please, uh, if it is here, let's see. Carlos Ademir, is here Carlos Ademir? No, no, no. Bye bye, teacher. Ok, Good bye night. bye. If somebody wants to stay here, Good guys, night. si alguien Good se night. quiere quedar, acá, guys, I'm going to be here, ok? Okay, bye bye guys. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good See night. you. Good bye night. Bye. Si you. alguien se See quiere quedar, guys. guys, I'm gonna be here. Okay. Bye bye. See you. See you. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 No. Entonces. Un poquito. Bye. Está bien. Está bien. Eh, vamos a empezar el refuerzo, ¿verdad? No sé si tengan algún tema que quisieran que reforcemos un poquito. ¿Quién se quedó? ¿Yo o alguien más? Que se quedaba dos? Carlos, Carlos, pero yo dije que si alguien se quería quedar porque Carlos no está, podíamos hacer ah, un repaso. Ok, ok, entonces me quedaría con, con Oscar, ok. okay. Y repito la otra semana. Y re, ok, you're going to repeat. Ok, much better, right? Ok, Mabel, si usted también se quiere quedar escuchando, no hay problema. Ok, Mabel? Sí, sí. Ok, perfect. Ok, Oscar, me indica, please, uh, do you have any topic that you want to review? ¿Algún tema, Oscar, que queramos eh, repasar? Lo de hoy, hoy anduve perdido. <risa> vale. Ah, pues no me igual. <risa> ok, no hay Entonces, problema. ¿por qué no estuve casi una hora, pues? Sí, sí, como al principio uh -huh. di esa información. Bien, les... Solo medio escucho la canción. Vaya, la clave de los ejercicios que hicimos ahora es saber las canciones que aparecen de tiempo. Esa es la clave. Por ejemplo, siempre, siempre que utilizamos el simple present, vamos a utilizar, por, el, por ejemplo, los adverbios de frecuencia, los que ya estudiamos, como always, often, voy a poner así, también. Always, often, generally, sometimes, never, every day, every week. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos el simple present, utilizamos el verbo y el adverbio de frecuencia. Por ejemplo, she always, she always studies, studies. in the morning, ¿verdad? She always studies in the morning. Ella siempre estudia en las mañanas. Estamos utilizando el adverbo, adverbio de frequency, right? Uh -huh. Y así este nos está indicando el simple present. Uh -huh. Pero, sí, sí. Vaya. En el caso de que estemos utilizando el presente continuo, recordemos que tiene dos funciones. La primera que nos indica actividades que estamos haciendo en este momento. ¿Qué está haciendo en este momento, Oscar? ¿Qué está haciendo? Listening. Listening. Exacto. I am listening your class. Mm -hmm. Your class. Entonces, your class. para identificar que vamos a utilizar ese tiempo, vamos a, a ver las palabras, por ejemplo, now, right oh. now, mm -hmm. at the moment, y still. Por ejemplo. Era still, teacher. Still, still que es, es aún. Ah, still aún. I am still working. Aún estoy 
trabajando. Okay, entonces, siempre que veamos estas palabras, vamos a utilizar el ING. Mm. Mm -hmm. Esa es como la clave que nos va a indicar. En el caso que estemos hablando del futuro, vamos a ver palabras como tomorrow, tomorrow night, eh, por ejemplo, next, next weekend. Todas esas palabras nos van a decir que vamos a utilizar el ING. El ING. Uh -huh. o, o ING. El ING. Uh -huh. uh -huh. mm, Pero no, le voy a tomar foto. Ok. Ya le tomo una foto. Ok, perfecto. Ahora vamos a practicar unos ejercicios. Vamos a hacer unos ejercicios de los que hicimos este día. Para que ustedes puedan identificar qué tiempo es el que se va a utilizar. Bien, estábamos en este. Hicimos este. Sí. ¿Este sí lo hicimos bien? ¿Este sí no tuvimos problemas? Um, sí, yo creo que no. Vaya. ¿Va a ver? Como dio la clave del ING. Uh -huh. Exacto. Mabel, uh -huh. para about you, Mabel. Fíjese es... que en este uh -huh. yo prácticamente lo que no me buscaron fueron las palabras uh -huh. eh, de presente continuo. Uh -huh. Porque no logro identificar uh -huh. cuando son eh, presente normal, digamos. Ah, vaya, vaya. La clave es la siguiente, mire Mabel. Cuando utilizamos el presente continuo, vamos a ver que tenga el ING. Por ejemplo, Ajá, tenemos... Sí. Mr. Wilson is, tengo el verbo to be y tengo el ing. Entonces es una actividad que está haciendo en este momento. ¿Qué otro tenemos with ing, Mabel? She is reading. Muy bien, ahí tenemos el presente continuo. ¿Qué otro? Eh, Wilson is pouring. Por, Boring, boring. Mm -hmm. Ahí tenemos otro, very good. Ten tenemos otro, do we have another one, Mabel? Quiero ver, si sí, ya lo había encontrado. Eh, are playing. Ok, are, they, are. They are playing. Tenemos también este, ¿verdad? Aren't watching. watching. Tenemos are aren't playing, muy okay. bien. Okay. Y yeah. tenemos aren't playing. También tenemos... El watch. 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 Ahora, los demás, los demás simple van a ser simple present. Simple present. Uh -huh. ¿Qué verbo aunque podemos tengan, emplear más? Ajá. Aunque siempre tengan del verbo, de siempre tengan sheet y todo eso. Aunque siempre lo tengan. Uh -huh. okay, por ejemplo, cuando es tercera persona le, le vamos a agregar la S. Ese es el simple present. Ahí está, Mabel. Y si no es tercera persona, no se le agrega nada. Si no es tercera persona, no se le agrega nada al verbo. Se deja con tal cual como está. Por ejemplo, cuando utilizamos I, you, we y they. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos, por ejemplo, drinks, goals. Tenemos el siguiente verbo, watch. Aquí tiene un ejemplo, mire, Mabel. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. The watch. Day. Porque estamos utilizando day, ¿verdad? Day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They usually watch, but this morning. Veamos otro. They often. Tenemos watch. watch. Y luego tenemos don't watch, la don't forma negativa. Watch. Uh -huh. Y en la forma negativa no se le agrega a ese. No, no, no. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, le voy a dar un ejemplo acá. Voy a pasar a la pizarra. Qué peludo. <ríe> ok, entonces, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, ellos no les gusta, a ellos no les gusta. They don't like to watch TV. A ellos no les gusta ver televisión. Pero si estamos hablando de he, she, or it, sería he doesn't. Doesn't. Like to watch TV. 
Sí, Mabel. Sí. Ahí. Ahí dijo el do y el das, ¿no? El do y el das. Exacto, pero tenemos que ver las preguntas, oraciones afirmativas y este es lo que creo que les compartí unas diapositivas en el grupo de, del chat para que las pueda ver también ahí. Bye. No, uh -huh. bueno. Bueno. Sí, sí, se los he, se, creo que se los he compartido. Si no, se los vuelvo a compartir, Bien. guys. Ayer, pues. Creo que es la semana pasada, se los compartí. Uh, de cómo se respondía negativo, si era positivo. Creo ajá, que sí. en el simple ah, present. El, ajá, el cuadro de, de, la, de lo, ¿cómo se llama? De, el simple, eh, del simple de, present. Simple present, ajá. Uh -huh. Ese cuadro, ese cuadro es el que tenemos que memorizarnos porque sin ese... Ah, aquí sí, está, sí. mire, aquí está. No sé si pueden ver el cuadro, ahorita se los comparto el cuadro. No. Aquí está, este es, mire. Este sí. cuadrito. Ah, sí, de... de claro. Ajá, de grammar. Uh -huh. Grammar structure. Sí. Ese, ese es como la, la base. Hay que prendérselo, sí, Hay que prendérselo, exacto. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, okay guys. Entonces, les felicito porque se quedaron, guys. Congratulations. Ok, sigamos así, guys. Ok. Entonces, a mañana sí. A ustedes, a mañana ustedes. Sí estoy, estoy trabajando el rumbo. Bye, está bien. <ríe> ok. Ni modo, así está. No a veces la, la primera vez me, me conecté manejando. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. No problem, no problem. No, no problem, Oscar. Ok, have nice. a good night. Good night. Good night, Mabel. See you. See you. Good night. Good night, Mabel. See you.